Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. This is Laura and I'm coming to you from Lehman's today. And I just wanted to talk with you guys a little bit. We are shaking things up like the title says and we're having a big whatnot salt and pepper shaker sale this week, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Central. Check us out on whatnot. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. And then um, I think I'm going to redo my little area at Layman's and uh, make a new little mid-century modern vignette. So I will show you some clips from that and some clips from the whatnot sale and what's coming and what to expect. And so be sure and join me. Now I'm here in our workroom and I'm going to show you some of the highlights for the whatnot sale for, of the salt and pepper shakers. I've got them all in front of me. This is our little setup where we do whatnot sales and I'll show that to you and then I will give you the highlights. Some of you all have seen our little behind the scenes setup here, but um, so we've got the computer here. That's some of our inventory. And then we've got this backdrop here. And then we've got this all ready to take either take pictures for eBay or to set up our whatnot sale. So it's all sitting here, <laughs> ready to go. Look how many. And I thought it would be fun to just show you the highlights and some of my more favorite ones. Um, Obviously, there won't, there's not, they're not priced because it is auction style on whatnot. So um, you bid and the winning bidder gets the item. These are adorable. Look, they're little apple girls. There's their little faces. They're anthropomorphic. It's one of the first words I learned when we started selling on eBay, anthropomorphic. I think the first thing we ever sold on eBay was an anthropomorphic set of salt and pepper shakers that was a teapot in a sugar bowl or something like that. It was really cute. So those are in Japan. They got their little cork stoppers. So those are adorable. If you haven't signed up for whatnot, there is a link in this video. And if you want to sign up to sell and whatnot, there is also a link for that as well. And then obviously I've linked our sale for the salt and pepper shakers in this video. And it is Thursday, so you're probably watching this on Wednesday. So it's Thursday night, 730 Central. These little dancing donkeys here are adorable. They kind of, they're made where they kind of look like they're holding hands. And let's see. I think they have, this one has, yeah, Japan sticker there. So there's Japan. Most of the animated, kitschy, cutesy ones are Japan. Here's an anthropomorphic pair. These are super old, super old and very collectible. So this little guy, I think is a pineapple, but you can sort of see the age by looking underneath and you can faintly make out the word Japan, I think there. He has a few little chippies. Um, in the crease there, that's just some dirt that needs to just be gotten out. This right here, though, is a little paint chip there. And maybe a little chip on the back. But they're so old, it's forgivable. You could, you could um, touch that up yourself really easily. And this little girl is like, a, is she a turnip, I guess? A bee, a radish? But then this little white spot here is not a chip. It's just kind of like an error of 
or a glaze slip or something like that where they missed the paint job. So that's kind of a fun pair. It's exciting because if you're a true collector, these are like hard to come by. And then this little pair wins the cutesy award in my book. They are like little snuggle bunnies, like little love bunnies. Let's see. Let's see what they're called. Exactly. Oh, it's, it's on the other one. They have the name on there. Bunny Hug. And they're by Tellinger, T-E-L-L-I-N-G-E-R, Tellinger. Very cute. These actually have quite a bit of weight to them. So they're the only pair that weigh like a pound. By the time you get the shipping and everything, I mean the packing and everything on there, the shipping materials, a little bit of dirt here that I'll get off. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. If you think you'll be interested in more than one pair, we might wait and run these more towards the end of the sale. Okay, let's look at a few more. Here's a few more of my little favorites. Look at this little adorable couple of skunks. They're winking at each other and flirting with each other. He's twirling his little tail around. Look at him. And she is flirting back. Oh, she is sassy. She's got that sassy look going on. They're Japan. They've had their little stoppers replaced, but that's good. That makes them more functional. So, very sweet. And then, I love this one. It's totally plastic, very lightweight. And then, can you guess where the salt and pepper shakers are? They're the baskets of oranges. Isn't that adorable? Look at, isn't that cute? And it's also a napkin holder. I think that one is just maybe my favorite. And then look at these guys. Little Napco Japan stitched salt and pepper tigers. We got a little pink one here. There's the cork and the Japan sticker. And a little green guy. And with his cork and Japan sticker. Very cute. And then this is Mary Beth's favorite. By the way, Mary Beth is going to be at the sale with me. But she's not here today to make this video with me. But I know you guys love it when we are both there. So we are both going to be at the salt and pepper shaker sale. We'll be kind of like a mini flipping and sipping on a Thursday night. So this is salt and I think they kind of made it look like a dollar sign. The S into a dollar sign so it looks like the little donkey's carrying a bag of money. Isn't that cute? And then I gotta be careful here. There's his pepper. Right there. They're so cute. They're like flat on the back so that they lay up against the donkey. So there's not much more adorable than a donkey cart. Now, if you're regular subscribers of our channel, you know that we love a good mystery box on Fatbird Finds. We um, sell them for $15 usually on Flippin' and Sippin', and then we, so many people would like one, we just kind of spin to win the opportunity to buy one. So, but when it comes to bidding, especially on whatnot, we don't want you to have to bid on something sight unseen. 
that's the different that's for a different kind of sale those sales are fun too but in this sale it's salt and pepper shaker so you know that's what you're getting so we just thought it'd be fun to have these little lots they're not really a mystery because I'm going to show you what's in them but these little tins full of salt and pepper shakers they're smaller so they'll fit in the tins they may have little condition issues here or there but then you've got this really cute tin as well so I just thought this would be fun this is kind of a me this is kind of a Laura thing you know I don't know why I like a lot of stuff or a box of stuff or a mystery box of stuff but I do it appeals to me I was watching Donatella Badalino today on whatnot and she didn't mystery boxes nope she did junk drawer boxes so instead of it being a mystery you got to see what was in there they were all the same size box all a pound and she had just put handfuls of stuff like you know like we get in old auction lot boxes and stuff and that was really fun they sold for you know ten dollars up to twenty dollars so i'm really considering doing that for our next whatnot sale so stay tuned for that so yeah, so here, and we'll show you on the sale a little bit more detail, but these guys are cute in this box. I'm salt. And he says, I'm pep. Aren't they cute? So each one has three. This one has those little guys, these this beautiful, Nippon set look at the swan and everything that's how you can tell you know you have the lake scene with the swans for the Japanese Nippon and then this little bitty one are souvenirs from Great Smoky Mountains there's two of those in there so then the purple tin that has a great color scheme and in that you have a little wooden salt and peppy but the condition is leaves a little to be desired on those guys. You could touch up the paint if you want to. Or you know what? Since you know you're probably not paying much for those, you could just redo them yourself. To anything you want. And then here are strawberries. So there's a pair of those. And then this little tiny, sweet little pair of floral ones, little bitties. So there's the three for that. And then this one I thought would be fun. This has like a more of a, a guy's assortment. Now the tin, full disclosure, the tin is, I guess, not something that, you know, like man cave-ish, but the salt and pepper shakers are. So you've got a little set of ducks here that are really cool I think this one says mallard on the bottom mm -hmm. and then little barrels almost like whiskey barrels they're souvenirs they say the hermitage which is in Nashville but you can also turn them around like this and they're just cute little wooden barrels and then these guys that are like beer steins So anyway, I thought that was just a fun way to sell um, the smaller ones three at a time and include a little something extra, which is the tin. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy that idea and if you think the junk drawer boxes would be fun to sell on whatnot or fun to buy. That was your sneak peek. We have a ton more. Tune in Thursday, February the 9th at 7.30 Central p.m. on Whatnot, Fatbird Finds. Links in the description below. Just join us for a good time. You don't even have to buy anything. Um, just join us. It'll be kind of like flipping and sipping on a Thursday night, a night early. And we would just love to see you there.
Up next is the decorating redo at Lehman's. Okay, so first of all, here's a little overview of the shop. It looks different, you know, all the time because we get different things all the time. And as you can see, it's very full. So we have to rearrange and move things around. And so I think I'm gonna take this very small space right here. We like to do vignettes against these uh, power poles, as you can see, so that we can plug things in and everything. So I'm gonna move these four pieces, the two chairs, the mirror and the table, and see if we can go mid-century modern. So stay tuned for that. Okay, this is step one. I cleared the space and I found, this is not mid-century, it's contemporary, but it's got the mid-century vibes, this art. You know, it's hard in here when you have to, you have to work with what you have. You can't, you don't have the luxury of just going out and getting, you know, it's not like decorating a house. So you just gotta work with what's here. So then I got that and then I've got this mid-century, it's not mid-century modern, but it is very mid-century. This little curio, isn't that cute? If you live in the Paducah area, it could be yours for $65. We just marked it down. What a steal. Okay, and then I've got this little table. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave that there yet or not. I'm just playing around, but I think the next time you see this, you'll like it. It's gonna be cute. Okay, so I'm assessing here. I've put, too bad my curio cabinet doesn't have a light. It really needs a light. So the glass up here is not showing very well, but I found this piece that I did a short on the other day, this German pottery piece. Very, very cool. Here, let me get a closer look. See, it really looks like the picture. Very mid-century vibes. And of course, I need some mid-century glass. There's a little Empoli bottle with the flame tip top and a big purple one. And I know the purple doesn't show that great. I might switch the purple and the blue. What do you guys think? Now, I think that is looking a lot better. Working with what I got, I think this looks nice. I think this looks like a nice mid-century vibe. And there's a several pretty cute pieces. The uh, genie bottles are kind of the star of the show, which is what I meant to happen. And then I got some blue going on here in this clear to make it show up. Y'all look at this beautiful little bowl. Oh my gosh, look at the Moriyagi on that. Isn't that so sweet? I just found this in a cabinet. I love that piece so much, so pretty. Got my little moon and stars piece down here, so now it shows up. There's my face, I left that in place. I put these cute little plates from uh, a mid-century luncheon set back there so that they would reflect the light since we don't have a light going on in this cabinet. Here is, um, it's like a reproduction of a Jolica bird, but he's got the color scheme going on. So I put him in there. He's so pretty. And then these little weeping gold vases and they reflect the light as well. And I love these because look, they've got this blue in there. Isn't that pretty? That soft pastel -y blue then that's what kind of weeps through. So cute. Okay, leave me your comments below and tell me how you think I did. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you Thursday night, 7.30 on Whatnot. Like, comment, and subscribe. And here's Jovi and Max to say goodbye. See you next time. Bye, everybody.